The city reports a record number of Chicago Public School seniors are graduating this year. That news comes as some CPS parents make a last-minute push for help from Springfield to stop the school closures. WGN's Frank Holland is in the newsroom with more on the story. Good morning, Frank. Good morning, Dolly. Well, with a sea of controversy surrounding school closings and parents and teachers fighting to stop them, CPS needed some good news. A new record high for high school graduation is just what the doctor would order. Uh, this year's projected graduation rates expected to be 63%, a 2% increase from last year, and an almost 20% increase from 10 years ago. Now that's according to CPS numbers, and it's important to note they measure the rate based on how many students graduate in a five-year period, not four. To compare, New York City boasted a 70% graduation rate over a five-year period in 2010. CPS also says attendance rates increased slightly from last year. CEO Barbara Burr Bennett will make the official announcement later today at the City Club of Chicago. But yesterday, parents spent the holiday pushing back against those controversial closings. Dear Mr. Emanuel, please stop closing our public schools and privatizing them and stop making parents on the south side of Chicago go through all the trouble that you are causing. That summed up the message in the majority of letters written by students, parents and teachers expressing their concern and anger over the CPS plan to close 50 schools. Kids also made pictures and other crafts during a picnic where the 11th hour effort was mounted to prevent those closings. Those closings were approved by the school board last week, but the teachers union has filed a lawsuit to stop them. There's also a bill in Springfield that would stop all closings for a year. That bill would have to be approved by Friday to prevent the school action. People at the picnic know this effort is a long shot, but after seeing five schools spared from the original closing list, they believe there is hope. We're sending out a message to Re uh, Mayor Rahm Emanuel that we are not done. You know, we are sticking together in solidarity. The schools are coming together. It's, it's, it's a very sad day for us. You know, we're just trying to come together and fight this attack on our kids that's going on and try to get our, our, our kids off the list. Well, the odds are likely against the passing of the Senate bill that would stop the school closings. It would have to pass committee and a full vote by Friday, and it's been in committee since February. It's not clear when the teachers union lawsuit will go before a judge. Here in the newsroom, Frank Holland, WGN News. Thanks, Frank.